Hi and welcome back to another video for your soul evolution. My name is Erin and I help people to evolve spiritually and to awaken to new perspectives. Today I wanted to share a perspective that you may or may not have considered before in regard to our spirit guides. Now most of us when we think about spirit guides we perceive that as connecting to some kind of being or someone outside of who we are like something outside of ourselves some connect to a native american guide some kind of animal guide a crossed over loved one some kind of an angelic type of being and while that may very well be the case i am just wanting you to consider a new concept that you're actually connecting to another part of yourself to another incarnation of your same soul if you're someone who gets deja vu quite often and you immediately think that oh my gosh i've done this before i've been this place before or i've met this person before and i don't remember why or how or what the circumstances were then if you are someone who knows that feeling then it shouldn't be that hard to consider that maybe that's because you really have been there before and met that person or experienced that same thing before in another incarnation of yourself we know and quantum physics has even proved that we are multi-dimensional beings that we exist in many parallel realities that there are an infinite number of parallel realities that we are constantly shifting in and out of throughout our day so it should be easy to consider that what we are thinking of as our spirit guides are actually just different versions of us that are on different frequencies and a personal story on that is i am also a reiki practitioner so I have done sessions countless times where I felt like I was connecting to a spirit guide of the client or possibly a past life of the client. So I have personally made contact with these beings and at the time I did think of a spirit guide because I just assumed from the things that I had been taught and things I had learned and read that we have these guides that are outside of us that come to deliver us guidance and things like that. What I resonate with more is that I was actually connecting to a part of that person, to an incarnation of their same soul, just on a different frequency. And that we have so many different incarnations of our same soul, but you may not have experiences with those because they're not relevant to where you currently are. So for example, if I'm doing a Reiki session on a client and they have, let's say, some kind of um, pain or stiffness like in this area. So as I'm doing the Reiki, I'm setting the intention that I make a connection to receive a message or receive some kind of information that could help them because my personal belief is that usually a physical pain, not usually, all the time in my experience, is actually connected to an emotional issue that is manifesting in their body in a physical way over time. Usually the root of that is something that is an emotional issue that they've tried to bury and cover up, something that's uncomfortable to deal with. And it has to have an outlet so it starts to manifest in your body in a physical way to try and get your attention and say, hey, deal with me, deal with me now. So the longer you wait and the longer you push down emotions, the more problematic that it can be. So it's best just to deal with things as soon as they come up. But that's a whole other video. But what I was saying is that, for example, if someone has pain or stiffness in their neck area, I have been able to connect with who I believe to be an incarnation of that person's same soul where they were experiencing that in another dimension or a parallel reality. 
and that it was brought to this person's attention because it was relevant to their current life and what they're experiencing. And I do believe that if you can work out that physical issue in this current reality, then it can affect all the other realities because we already know that your past, even though we perceive it as something that happened that's set in stone, it's actually always changing because neuroscience has shown that every time we take a memory out of our memory bank, that we change it and we tweak it just a little bit and then we put it back. So by the time that we have brought that same memory out of our memory bank multiple times, it's nowhere near what it started. So your past is not really set in stone the way that you think it is. It's, it's ever changing just like your future. There's no set future that you have. You only have different paths that you could be on of where the, your energy and your vibration is currently taking you. So what I had got for this client that had the, the stiffness in the neck and shoulders was that she was in, and at the time I believed it to be a past life because that's where I was at that time before I you know, I'm always evolving and growing and trying to expand what I know. She was in this other past life where she was the head of the family. She was in some kind of like a tribe and she had been a leader. And so she had all of this weight on her shoulders and she had a lot of pressure on her like it was symbolic but it was also literal that she was having to take on other people's issues and take on the weight of the world per se and it was causing this problem in her shoulders so that was relevant to her current situation as well so we were able to do some energy healing and and heal that issue and with my new belief system on that, now I no longer feel that it was a past life of hers, that it was actually a current life, just in another dimension, because we are multi-dimensional beings, eternal beings, and all that we have is this present moment, because the past is memories, and the future is imagination, and by the time the future gets here, it will be this present moment, and you never experienced the past because it was this present moment right here. And so I believe that that was actually another incarnation of her just vibrating at a different frequency. And that through us tapping into that, because it resonated, it was relevant to her current experience, we were able to clear that up and she no longer has that issue anymore because the past is ever changing. So if you change it now in this current present moment it changes everything it changes the past it changes her future so it's really amazing another thing I wanted to say about spirit guides is that the way that we perceive them also depends on our beliefs because as we know that our lives is always a reflection of our beliefs how we feel about things what we believe to be true so if you are someone who is raised up in Christianity, then you're gonna probably be drawn to those more angelic type guides. And those very well also are just incarnations of your same soul, but they come to you, they come across in a more angelic way because that resonates with you and that makes you feel comfortable and secure. But if you're someone who is more say connected to the earth or things like that you may feel like your spirit guide is more of a native american type person and someone who's lived off the land because that's what makes you feel comfortable any way you look at it it's just going to vary on your personal belief system if you're someone who's really connected to animals you may feel like your spirit guide is an animal and it very well may be but just also consider that it's actually just part of you that is existing in another frequency in this same present moment. And that's why you have that deja vu because you have experienced that before and you are experiencing it just in different frequencies. And to me, that's more empowering to know that 
again, it's within you that you don't need to be looking for something outside of yourself. It is all within you. And the more you get to know yourself through meditation or through going out in nature and connecting that way, the more you are going to be in tune with who you really are, which is that infinite being having a temporary human experience. And the more you tap into that, the more secure and confident that you're gonna feel when you do get guidance and those synchronicities and the numbers and all of that, instead of thinking, oh, that must be from my spirit guide, Raul, or whoever, you'll know maybe that's just from me in a different frequency. Just validating myself that I'm on the right track that I made that decision and now I got my 444s so I know to keep moving forward that I'm on the right track. I just think sometimes as human beings we feel the need to have this being outside of ourselves, and we want to know their name, their origins and things like that but that's just a human, that's just our ego wanting to know that because really what we want is just the guidance and the validation that we're on the right track or that we're making the right decision about something that's really important. That's what we're really seeking. So really a name or even where they come from, it's really ir irrelevant. So I hope you find this perspective interesting. Just keep in mind to be open to all the different ways that you could be receiving guidance and that just because it doesn't come from this angelic being, this vibrant, glowing, angelic being, doesn't mean that you aren't always being guided at a certain level, either from yourself or from a spirit guide. Just know that you're always receiving guidance one way or the other. And if you choose to believe that it's someone outside of you and it's just this magical, mystical being that comes to you to give you this excellent advice, then keep on believing that because that will be true for you. But if you also wanna consider and be open to the possibility that it's actually your own self that is coming to give you guidance from a different frequency and that you need to look no further than within for answers and guidance, then believe that too, because that will be true for you as well. You're always gonna get a reflection of what you believe to be true. So if it's working for you to believe that it's some being outside of yourself, then keep on believing that and work within your belief system. If you'd like to expand your consciousness a little bit and be open to the idea that it's just you at a different frequency, then all the things that you would be doing like asking for those synchronicities and asking for those symbols and asking for the feathers or the pennies or whatever you want to ask for ask that of yourself say i would like validation because it does resonate with me that this could just be me vibrating at a different frequency giving me advice so show me six six in the next week you know you can always ask for those signs and symbols but I'm just encouraging you to be more open to the ways that it can come to you because we're really limiting ourselves with saying that it has to be from some spirit guide outside of ourselves because we really never need to look any further than within ourselves to find the guidance that we need. Just sometimes it's a little easier to ask others to help you tap into that. So I'm just asking you to let go of that limiting belief that your spirit guide has to be this being outside of yourself because you are a magical, mystical being in your own right. Because you're an infinite being, you can do and have anything that you want. You just have to change your mindset and your beliefs. And I encourage you to start doing that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found this perspective interesting. If you know someone who would benefit from it, please share it. If you're watching this on YouTube, Please like and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my videos. And until then, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.